Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie for those of you that are new. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial. So I'm currently rushing out the door to get to the bar with my friends. Um, I'm late per usual. But um, my hair, I just did, it just looked, it was like a natural blowout look, like you just went to the dry bar if you have it in your town and just got it blown out, but I don't have um, a blow dryer that really does that. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that without those tools, and then I'm also just gonna be vlogging my night with the girls. So if you wanna see how this all goes, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I just got out of the shower. I let my hair sit in the towel for probably about 10, 15 minutes. What am I doing? Um, and then I'll just take it out of the towel and brush it through. So I guess now would be a good time for me to tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing tonight. So I'm going to dinner with Ali and Gina, two of my besties, and we're just gonna go to this new rooftop bar in Dallas. And then I honestly have no idea what's going on after. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. And probably, hopefully, get some cute pics. Cause did you really go out if you didn't get cute pics? No. Uh, so that's the move. So after I brush it all out, I'll go in with this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. And this is a mini size, but it's lasted me a while. And then I'll just take about a, I'm almost out actually, um, about that amount of a lot of hair. And then just run it through the middle of my hair all the way to the ends. It does a pretty good job just like smoothing my hair. So as far as drying my hair goes, I'll start out and just get <laughs> the moisture out of my hair with my John Frieda blow dryer. Um, and then after I do that, I'll go in with my Revlon blow dryer. I guess you can kind of call it a blow dryer. It's a round brush that blows hot air out of it. Um, and it's kind of a dupe on the Dyson in a sense. It gives you the kind of that same like voluminous smooth look without having to go to like the dry bar or somewhere like that. So I'll show you um, how it looks. Okay, so now that it's air dried a little bit longer, I just sat on my couch for like 10 minutes. Um, and so now I'm going to go in with this Revlon guy and just separate my hair into sections until it gets fully dry. Okay, so for this last layer, this part is super important when it comes to the fresh blowout look. So, with the past two layers, I've just been doing it like straight down. But with this one, I'm actually gonna flip my head over and blow dry it upside down. So it gives my hair like some more volume and just a little bit of poof. So now that it's all blow dried, we are not done yet. So this part just makes it look super fresh and just like you just left the dry bar. But when it comes to the shape of it, I don't think, or at least the way I do it, I don't really think um, this guy gives it as much curve and 
curl as much as I want it to. So now what I'm gonna do is wait for, let me get it out, this guy to heat up and I'll show you how I do those curls. But yeah, it makes it look super soft. I've never had any blow dryer do this. I could literally sometimes before I discover the way to make my hair look super blown out with this, I would just leave it the way it is right now after I use my Revlon guy and it just makes it look so smooth. So if you're looking for something to buy that is a substitute for a straightener or something like that, I highly recommend this. It's um I'll link it below. But I think it was about $60, so not not too bad. Okay, so now that this guy has heated up, this is my John Frieda. I believe it's one and a half inch barrel curler. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with my blow dryer. I'm gonna separate my hair into I do three or four sections and just Pin this up. And so, for the way that I curl this is more of for the effect of getting that dry bar blown out look more so than getting like an actual curl. So the way I do it is I just take the curler, run it over the top just to smooth it a little bit, go all the way to the end, and then just curl up and then hold and then release. And it just gives it a nice little bouncy curl. And then at the very end, I brush it all out um, and it gives a super fluffy, I don't know why I keep saying fluffy, but I feel like fluffy is kind of a good depiction of the way it looks. So for this side, one difference that I did notice is that I I feel like most of the time when I've always curled my hair, I like to curl away from my face. But with this look, I'll actually curl towards my face. And then so that way when I brush it out, it kind of gives a swoopy look. Okay, so after I do these first two layers, I will go in with some hairspray. And so the one that I use is the L'Oreal Paris Elnette Satin, and it's the extra strong hold with volume. So I'll link this below, but one tip I also learned from watching Mallory Irvin's vlogs was that she said whenever she went to a hairstylist, she told her this tip, and it was a game changer. She told her to spray up, and then it gives it some texture. So I don't necessarily need these curls to hold per se, but just getting giving them a little memory at the ends is. So I take back what I said earlier, I actually do four layers. And the reason I do that is because I like for this very top layer, whenever I get to do this, I like for it to be super, a very small amount because the top layer, you just want to pay the most attention to because it's just the layer that I feel like everyone sees. So this is my third layer and I'm just gonna be doing the exact same thing. So I uh, will brush this out, and then it's literally the exact same thing. I just pay a little more attention to these front two pieces. So now I know it doesn't look that great. I'm gonna give it one last spray and then it'll be time for the grand reveal. Okay. So it looks like this. 
and then we're never gonna brush it through. And real quick before I leave, I'm just wearing my Topshop jeans, my Nordstrom heels, and this shirt that I got from Nasty Gal, and then my good old Prada purse.